the horse whinnied and sidestepped until they hit the fence. Bramble scratched Ichabod's face as he tried to steer the horse back onto the road. But the poor old gunpowder just kept moving backward, then sideways, then back to the fence. Ichabod's fears grew with this delay, and he nudged him with all his might. This time it worked, and Ichabod soon found himself back on the road, facing the mouth of the bridge. Then suddenly, Gunpowder froze. Head straight in the air, ears pinned forward, nostrils flared as he snorted at something. Ichabod looked up and saw it. An apparition. A ghoul. A ghost. A ghost. 